Hello, my name is Shindanai Sukel. My friend called me Kenny. And I was born in 1990 in Poi, a town in the northwest of Thailand. For thousands of years, traps like the Lahulisu and Karen have lived in the local mountains. But by itself, it's a very new town, only about 120 years old. It used to take three days to get to Chiang Mai, the nearest city, by walking or ox cast along the tiny mountain path. Everyone survived by farming or hunting, and everyone appreciated the natural beauty of this special place. However, ever since the Japanese built the railway during the Second World War and the government built the road in 1980, Thai has grown and grown in the last 5 or 10 years. Thai has seen a lot of new building and a lot of chance. I grew up on a farm about 4 km outside of town. We call it Takam Pai. After my grandfather Takam, we are a young family. Send out Sakao. When he opens his home to you, he opens his heart as well. Both Sendot and Katsaran are the youngest of five children. Just like me. They met in Chiang Mai, married quickly, and moved out of the country to fix up Sandot's old family farm. Kit got a job at the Pai Hospital. They had two boys, Kenny and Duchi. Duchi is 12 and is always running around making loud noises and grabbing cats. 
while Kenny, who's 17, is in a band called Bad Smell. One kiss for the woman, one touch for the last time, just one more chance to be in your life. So deep on the line, bring tears to my eyes, to realize not the best for each other. <laughs> <laughs> when Sendot took over the farm, it was in bad shape. Though the six rye of rice field was enough to provide for his family for a year, the soil in the rest of the farm was poor, because his grandfather had cut down all the trees which would have provided nutrients to keep the land regenerating. This is very good of compost already. Oh yeah, you can yeah. see the color as well. Yeah. Also, the Pombok waterfall uphill that streamed through the land wasn't enough to provide for all the plants, herbs, and animals they'd need to be self-sustaining. No, I, I mean... When a dry season, that water is not coming for two or three months. But here, the water is still like this. Because I have many trees, Where? the trees can be keep the water. This water from <laughs> underground is coming. Uh -huh. <laughs> so learning from his agricultural ancestors, and from careful observation of the land, Sendup began implementing techniques which he only later discovered were called permaculture. Yes. This is uh, the permaculture way, Perma, uh -huh, you know, yeah. Yeah, permaculture, yes. You can grow everything together. This one is a uh, mango tree, ah. yes. You grow with the thick wood, hard wood. That is banana, that is a uh, bamboo, uh -huh. yes. Don't make it separate, you can, uh, the things it can be held and other things, yes. Like uh, some of the trees, they have very good of the uh, nitrogen. Yeah, like a legume. Yeah. yeah. If you know the tree, which one, like uh, the leaf, which the leaf, they have more uh, sulf, sulf, sulfate. Like, sulfur? Yeah, sulfur. Mm. That is good, like that. Yes, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. Right. Yeah, which one we need, which one is lost. 